have successfully accomplished your task, Dr. Meacham. You've assembled an interocitor, a feat of which few men are capable. Who are you? I'm called Exeter. I'm a scientist like yourself. Shall we say, uh, a colleague? My colleagues don't materialize out of strange machines. They're flesh and blood. And so am I, Dr. Meacham, as I hope you'll soon find out. Although I admit at the moment I do appear immaterial. But no matter. I represent a group which is seeking scientists of exceptional ability. All prospects must pass an aptitude test, which you've just done. I'm flattered. Only I don't remember applying for any job. You didn't. I beg your pardon, Mr. Wilson. Your camera will pick up nothing but black fog. Images on the interocitor don't register on film. Put it away, Joe. Do continue, Dr. Meacham. We test out people without their knowledge. We leave nothing to chance. Except the chance that I'm not interested in you or your group. Come, come, Doctor. It's not possible that a man of your scientific curiosity wouldn't want to find out who I am, where I come from, wouldn't give his right arm for more examples of our superior technical knowledge. I think I can assume, Dr. Meacham, that you're sufficiently intrigued to come to an immediate decision. We'd like you to join our team, as you might say, at once. You'll make arrangements to leave immediately. Wait a moment. I didn't say... At 5 o'clock Wednesday morning, our plane will land at your field. It will wait exactly five minutes and then depart. Whether I'm aboard or not? Place the catalog on that table with the blueprints. Now stand aside, please. You too, Mr. Wilson. Just a minute. Please step back or you may be harmed. Further back. 